We are moving well, although there are still some concerns about rising infection among certain populations. I'm personally affected by HIV. My, my mom passed away because she had HIV. And the, the main reason why she passed away was because of stigma and rejection. So a young person will be afraid of taking their medication in front of their friends because they're afraid of being judged. They're afraid of uh, being asked, why are you taking this medication? You know, those questions. Sometimes young people feel like their medication is too much, too many pills and fatigue. Some drugs like effervescence, it makes you hallucinate or have bad dreams. So sometimes a young person will think, if I don't take it, I'll still be okay. I will actually be better. <laughs> Me, I have five children. I had six. One passed away. I couldn't believe that I was positive. Yeah. Around our area, we speak openly. But at times we just keep our secret, those people who are sick. So I took the first drugs. It did bad in my body. I just feel like vomiting. When you're not feeling well, you can't go and work. Yeah, I couldn't wake up. Based on my assessment today, uh, we're going to be changing your drug from this, what you have currently been having, to the new drug that is called Dolutegravir or DTG. It's a tablet that is a single formulation. That means it doesn't have other tablets inside. So you'll be taking it once daily in addition to the TDF and the 3TC that you have been taking. Part of the evolution of treatment for the HIV patient has been the increasingly friendliness of the regimens that are available uh, for the patients in terms of toxicity and therefore their capacity to stay on it uh, for the long term. And currently HIV treatment is long term treatment. So you want the least toxic uh, regimen uh, to help patients stay on their treatment for long. I think the introduction of DTG is a good initiative, especially for the ones who are starting treatment, who are, who are on first line, it will, be, it will be easier for them to stay on first line. One of the reasons is side effects, so it's good news, it's good news for us. Yeah. Today is a good day, so we need to be happy. We are celebrating over 14 years of HIV treatment. We do have collaborations with the PEPFA in terms of financing as well as Global Fund. The Clinton Health Access Initiative, CHAI, have also been uh, key partners in terms of market survey, guiding us in terms of pricing for HIV commodities. UNITAID has, of course, been a key partner in terms of championing for innovation and new products, and uh, we are very glad to be partners in, in the introduction of uh, TTG. <laughs> The moment I start taking that drug, I'm okay and I'm, I'm strong. I could do my work at home. I could go to work. I'm feeling very, very well. In fact, I'm enjoying the drug. <laughs> Families, individuals, children are now being brought up by their parents when in the 90s and early 2000s, children were orphaned. You know, when people come together, not just from within a country but from externally, it's actually possible to change uh, lives in a very dramatic way. I'm very happy because I have my grandchildren. I could see them, I could take care of them. And I'm feeling like I'm still staying with them for some time. <laughs>